My name is Ahmadu Ali Mbai. I'm professor of economics and dean of the School of Economics and Management at Czech Antigua University. Why do you think Africa has lagged behind economically? Uh, it's a very vast question. Uh, we have several equations uh, coming into play, uh, such as historical background. This is very important. Uh, Africa has been exploited for so long time. You have uh, uh, political factors like conflicts and uh, political instability, and also bad policies. Uh, I think policies we have been implemented, implementing so far have been so weak. And I think all these factors and many others uh, have come into play to explain this performance, this very poor performance we have talked about. Now, let's talk about uh, the economy of uh, Senegal as a country. How, how healthy is the economy now? Uh, it's like uh, the average African country, uh, African economy, I mean. The growth rate averages 4% for a long period of time, since 95, I mean, since our currency got devaluated. Uh, the GDP per head averages 1%, which is very low with respect uh, to our, uh, I mean, our uh, intention to reduce poverty. Uh, poverty incidence is high. Uh, most of uh, agricultural, uh, I mean, most of industries are very, uh, uh, I mean, very with very low value added. Don't have a lot of processing for our most of our products. And so these are a typical uh, least developed country economy. Now take me through. Introduce me to uh, to Senegal as a country from the economic point of view as an economist uh, if I had to introduce to you Senegal I would say very few things uh, first of all I would see that I would say that uh, the economy leans on some sector some basic sectors like groundnut like fishing like tourism like phosphate and more and more horticulture, and that's it. Uh, the political situation is very stable. We have never experienced a coup in Senegal, which is very positive, I think. Uh, the macroeconomic situation is stable. Inflation rate is low, averaging 3%. But fiscal deficit is also under control. But the problem is the structural, uh, uh, the, stru the, the main Economic structure, yeah, the main economic structure. I mean, the foundation of economic development, which are still very weak. Now, at the moment, there is a trouble across the the river, that is the war girl in Mali. You, as a, a Senegalese, what do you feel? I feel very bad, because this country, uh, Mali, was very typical to other African countries. You have. We had election going on very uh, regularly, uh, so the economy is struggling uh, to develop. And we don't need this political turmoil, which is very bad for the economy and for the overall society of Mali. So I'm very sad about what is happening there. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, now that brings in the question of uh, intervention. Uh, you can see on your, our left-hand side those are French forces, presumably, and uh, we have I've seen Spanish and, all, and other countries. This is more of a military base than a, a, a resort. What, do you, what is your view about uh, African intervention? We Africans doing our own thing, intervening in our own problems and looking for local solutions. I think this would have been ideal uh, 50 years, more than 50 years after independence is still very sad to see that, I mean, former colonial powers are coming to bring peace, bring about peace in our countries. I think ECOWAS, the African Union, and many other regional integration settings would have played a role similar as the one French, 
France is playing right now. So these undoubtedly will question the efficacy and the relevance of the regional setting we have been experiencing so far in Africa. Now, yourself, how do you want? To, what do you see happening? Um, the outcome, a good outcome of uh, Mali itself. We have two major possibilities. The one option, I mean, the one possibility is that the Islamists get defeated. I think this is what all Democrats are calling for. And if this happens, we hope that Mali will be able to lay out the foundation of a true republic and a very serious foundation of, uh, for his economy. Uh, the other possibility is that the war takes more time than initially expected. And I think this would be very bad for the stability of Mali and for the economy of Mali.